You're not going to believe this. These guys right now, uh, right here, this guy right here, where's yeah. the band at? Oh, there we go. Yeah. See? Awesome. This is, this is, we're just freestyling here. We're freestyling. This is, you know, this is not planned. We have a crazy parking lot over here, right? And I'm, I'm literally going to make sure that our egress is going good. And I'm hearing a live band in our parking lot playing. Yeah. And I'm sitting there going, what the hell is that? So I run over there, and this guy right here is standing on this flatbed, right? flatbed with a stage built on it. He's standing on top of his aunt, and he does this like 10 foot jump off <laughs> right into like not missing a beat. And I went, holy shit, I was about to kick these guys out to be like, I want to sign these guys. <laughs> yeah. So, That's so you know what? You know what? It's like, it's very interesting because me and Matt have history of discovery together. Uh, besides his MTV days, uh, there was a band that I uh, flew in to meet Fred Durst, the, the singer of Limp Bizkit. And uh, was, the band was called Puddle of Mud. And uh, it was the first time Fred uh, was going to meet the band. And guess who's hanging out with Fred? Matt Pinfield. Matt Pinfield. Yeah. Significant other, Matt Pinfield rant at the end of the album. Yeah. That's it. That you know that. Yeah, I know it. I know it. Awesome. So that was cool. So it was amazing. I was sitting there with Fred, and we knew Danny was on his way. And Danny's great that way. You know, he was always looking for great new bands, and he brought Wes in there to Fred. And we're sitting there, and Wes had never been on a plane before, right? Yeah, so something like that. Yeah. He came in from Arkansas, and Fred was like, "You got to hear this guy, man. He sounds like Kurt Cobain." And he had to play rape me for us on the guitar. That's right. He played a And that was unbelievable, Danny. I would never forget that day because that turned into millions yeah. of records with Come Clean. <laughs> and you, of course, did so much great stuff with that. But it was one of those things, right? It was, a, it was one of those moments, and you were there. Uh, so grateful to uh, be there. To bring a band in and discover a band. And it was just great that you were there. And I'm sitting here going, last night, going, holy shit. Let's do this again, Matt. Yes. <laughs> and, then, and then you got Jose, who's going to get you played, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, when I just met these dudes, they were like, please play us on Sirius XM. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey, but, dude, I mean, Silly Goose, you guys have impressed a lot of people here. I mean, Danny included, myself and Matt, the team behind here. And what you did, like we were, people were sending around your videos. <laughs> I was getting texted your videos. I was like, what? Who's That's so band? awesome. This, these young kids from Atlanta who are here playing our parking lot, man. <laughs> And you got some attention from it. Is that what you wanted? That is exactly what we wanted. And thank you so much for being so chill about us breaking into your parking lot or sneaking in. Uh, <laughs> that was uh, usually we get kicked out and then like the police try it. Like I've been put in handcuffs. I've been detained at the Tabernacle, our venue in Atlanta. Uh, a lot of police interaction. Everyone here in Ohio is so nice. So, so like, thank you so much for not like for being cool. Yeah. <laughs> part of well, screw people. all that. And let, let, let's let's. You know, it's interesting because uh, this this is a Twitch show, right? This is DWP's Twitch right. Twitch channel. And uh, Jake and a guy named Bobby, who's not here. I wish he was here to be part of this. Um, and we got Matt, who has a has his own show on the channel. And then Jose is like. He is our ambassador of, uh, of, of rock and hard rock and metal for DWP. He is, he is really like, kind of like the face. Uh, he's our host. And, uh, but we have, this, uh, we have this channel called Space Eber, right? Right. And it's all, about, it's all about discovery, finding new bands. And the reason why I wanted you guys to be on this, to be here, because you took, like, this is stuff that bands used to do. Right. right. Now bands whine why it's not happening to them. You said, screw that. I'm going to... Fuck all that. We're breaking in. We're going to break in. Right? <laughs> yeah. now, now, I am not encouraging people to <laughs> break in. Yes. But you find your own way... <laughs> to, to not break into the festival. Yeah. So, I mean, right, Danny? I think the thing we, 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 why we were so impressed by it is, you know, you were one of those bands who said... You know, I gotta think outside of the box. Yeah. But right. We're gonna do the work, whatever it takes, and that blew Danny away. Definitely. Because did. of what we've seen over the years, right? It's it's incredible. I lo I love the hustle, man. I I for all the unsigned bands uh, that are watching this, and I hope Jake. Yep. Uh, I hope you can air this again. It will be aired. And because uh, <laughs> this is important, you guys. This is guerrilla marketing. This is controlling your own destiny not waiting for somebody <laughs> and then shit like this happens and and it's amazing because you're gonna uh, hopefully a lot of bands are gonna learn from you guys because you know? <laughs> this is just the beginning for you right yeah yeah we're, we're uh we're doing the, i'm doing this like for my whole life this is what i want to do 
you, you can hold it up. You no, have I want to do it too. We absolutely <laughs> want to do it for our whole life as well. <laughs> how old are you guys? I I am 17. I'm the youngest in the band. Yeah. So yeah, Benny turns 18 in like three days, and I just think we need to recognize this man just played this festival, and he's not even like old enough to own a. a an item yeah like that's the man right yeah. there <laughs> I, mean, I think danny we should also we, we, we were talking about it earlier going from the parking lot to a dwp stage today that was crazy it was awesome let's talk about that yeah so it, it was awesome like we're so we're so thankful you guys gave us the opportunity and like uh we got like no sleep last night uh we were like we gotta practice we actually drove like 30 minutes away to this field in the middle of nowhere. We were trying to find like no houses. So we like played in this field at like three in the morning, uh, just like really loud metal music. And then we, uh, we stopped around five and we got two hours of sleep. And then the rain started and we weren't gonna be able to play. And we were all bummed, but you're we like, thank you for the opportunity. And which again, thank you. Yeah. But then it worked out and we got to play and I'm just beyond Wait, ecstatic. How, how, you didn't, how old are you? I'm I'm 20. I'm yeah. 20 and Alan and Alan's 18. 18. Awesome! I love it. That's incredible. Guys, yeah, I, I was I was at the stops. I was at the stop sign on way to my hotel, and here comes these guys in their in their stage, <laughs> driving their van with their stage behind it. And I tried so to stop great. you guys. I was gonna see if you guys wanted a hotel because we had a hotel. <laughs> we had an extra hotel. Oh, we would have wow. loved the hotel. <laughs> uh, maybe we can get you a hotel tonight. Um, but uh, let's. Uh, I, you know, I'd love to. You know give you guys like a, a demo deal make a demo with you guys and and uh, we have a label uh, that would be awesome yeah. alchemy yeah it's alchemy recordings and uh i haven't even talked to my partner about you guys but i'm sure he's gonna love you guys um but uh after this event like next week um let's get together let's talk let's do it hey jake you were yep. gonna you were going to uh invite him to what yeah i think uh so wimmer has graciously given us a uh our own stage for uh the stream at louder than life and uh i think i think we want you guys to play there in louisville at louder than life wow. <laughs> how amazing yeah is we're that? down wow. we'll be there <laughs> guys have you seen that lineup how incredible it is yeah we were just it's uh it was taped up on the porter potty when we were going to the bathroom <laughs> and uh we were talking when, about it when, hey, marketing when, works when. marketing yeah. works <laughs> yes. uh, but yeah we'd love to have you guys there if uh if you guys are down we would love to come we would be honored all right. And if you guys look underneath your seats, there's keys to each a new car. Yeah! <laughs> you don't have to drive the flatbed back to Atlanta. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think, how, how are people, your, all your friends and family and stuff going to feel in Atlanta when they hear this story? I, I hope they're going to start taking us seriously. Oh, yeah, uh, they are. Oh, <laughs> yeah, they are. Um, but, no, our, we got a lot of close friends and stuff that are very supportive, and they know who they are. They're going to be – I hope they're going to be impressed. I would hope so. <laughs> well, let's do this again. Uh, Jake, Yep. once again, tell all the Space Zebra, yep. all, the, all the bands that you guys talk to every other day. Yep. This is the hustle. This right is here. it. This is the hustle. <laughs> this is living, breathing proof. Congratulations. Of the hustle. Thank you so much. Yeah, Thank you so much. Yeah. Nice job, All right, guys. guys. Appreciate it. Silly Goose from Atlanta. Uh, silly Goose, guys. You're going to hear about them more. Congratulations. On the radio, off the radio, and here awesome. at the DWP stages. And we'll see you at Louder Than Life, guys. Fuck yeah, dude. Thank you Thank so you, much. Man. All right, guys. Really appreciate it.